and I will just rotate and scale the UVs now to make this cup look like a real wooden cup. In this blender texturing tutorial or blender texture mapping tutorial slash blender UV mapping tutorial, we will add a wooden texture to our cup. In order to do that, we will need to first UV unwrap it. So what is UV unwrapping? UV unwrapping is a process of projecting a 2D image onto the 3D model surface. In simple words, it is like unfolding a 3D mesh and laying it flat. To do that, we will need to add cuts or the seams to the 3D model so it will be unfolded. So then, if we apply a texture to the model, the software can then decide which faces of the model shows which part of the texture. So that we have learned what UV unwrapping is, let's UV unwrap our cup. At first, I will apply an image texture to this cup, this wooden texture. The texture looks kinda okay, but if you really notice, the texture looks really stretched and distorted in some areas too. Let's fix it. If you select the UV editing tab right here, it will open up the UV editor on the left. We can already see the UVs of this cup because we created this cup from cylinder, which was UV unwrapped by default, but we need to change it. A really nice method of detecting the stretching and distortion is applying a UV grid texture. So what it will do is that it will apply a grid texture onto the model so that any flaws such as stretching and distortion are immediately visible. And as you can see, instead of square texture we are seeing rectangles because of stretching and the handle is pretty messed up too. The fastest fix for this is to use smart UV project by pressing U, Smart UV Project. And the tutorial is over. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> by using the Smart UV Project, Blender will automatically decide where to put the cuts on the model. But it's not that smart as you can see. The texture looks ugly still. Let me undo this step. We will now need to decide where to put those cuts or seams on the model. So let's go ahead and select this edge loop at the top, right click and select mark seam. This will add that cut on the model. Press U again, but at this time, choose the unwrap option. The model is now cut into two pieces, as you can see, inner and outer. Adding the seam will add the cut, but it will also create a discontinuity of the texture. And if there is a seam, there will be the mismatch of the texture. So the goal of the UV unwrapping is to avoid any visible seams and putting the seams where they are least visible or adding the seams where it's logical. In this case, this upper edge loop. I will also add a vertical cut here. So this outer part will be unfolded correctly. I will select all the continuous edges. And also this bottom edge loop. Cool. We also need the UVs of the handle to be separated from the cup. So let's select these edges of the handle. Right click. Mark seam. Let's test this out now. U. Unwrap. Yeah, this looks much better now. The stretching is gone, but the handle is still messed up. Let's fix that by adding a cut on this edge loop. The vertical cut as we did for the cup. U, unwrap, boom, there you go. The cup is almost properly UV unwrapped, but let's finally apply that wooden texture and see how it looks. Yeah, that looks nice, but let's manually fix some problems. A quick tip, if you move the cursor on any of the UV parts or islands and press L, it will select that island only. It's quite handy to make manual changes. I will create some spacing where there is some amount of stretching still, like so. And I will just rotate and scale the UVs now to make this cup look like a real wooden cup. 
beautifully unwrapped wooden cup. Please give it a like, I really appreciate it. And in the next part, we will create materials and lighting for this cup to give it a realistic wooden feel. Click this video right here. See you in the next video.